We've learned that Ryden William Brogdon is the latest homicide victim in the resort town of Banff. For three decades, Banff had not had a murder. Now RCMP are investigating the second homicide in the town this summer. Nicole Di Donato now on the concern about violence in the popular tourist town. Police tape once again takes over this popular tourist destination. Banff hadn't seen a homicide in over 30 years. This summer, it's had two, and both in the same block. It's kind of kind of crazy to me. Kind of shocking to hear. A 27-year-old man from Foothills County was stabbed to death early Saturday after an altercation along Banff Avenue. Some people told CTV News it happened outside of the McDonald's, but RCMP say it happened outside a bar. 20-year-old John Spruill of Lake Country Country, British Columbia has been charged with second degree murder. A second suspect who was taken into custody was released without charges after police determined he wasn't directly involved. The mayor of Banff says this deadly violence is shocking. It has shaken our community to its core and we are concerned and so we are wanting to make sure this doesn't become a trend. This comes just weeks after 26 year old Banff resident Ethan Enns Gano was killed after what friends called an attack at the dancing Sasquatch nightclub. They say he was ambushed and stabbed multiple times in the washroom. As for the latest homicide, the Banff Hospitality Collective, which runs several establishments in town, says due to the proximity, staff at the dancing Sasquatch immediately reported the incident to RCMP, saying in a statement, we are shocked and saddened that within such a short time frame, we are again faced with the reality of violence in our community. Going on to say, we continue to work with our team members and the community to identify Identify opportunities to bolster the safety of Banff's downtown core. RCMP say there is no danger or safety concerns for residents and visitors of Banff, adding the two homicides are not believed to be connected. Still, many in the community remain on edge. Definitely not going out as much because it's crazy that honestly the security at some of these places, I really think they, it could be increased a little bit more. Senator and former Banff Mayor Karen Sorensen calls the deaths senseless and tragic. We're a tourism based community, but we are also home to 9,000 residents and this is just not something that we have ever had to frankly even think about. And Nicole DiDonato is on Banff Avenue tonight. So Nicole, what's being done to prevent similar incidents from happening? Mayor Corey DeMano says RCMP actively patrol the downtown core, including the pedestrian zone every night. The town recently added a new RCMP officer and is looking to bring in another soon. Banff also has something called Bar Watch, which is a system that allows all downtown bars and restaurants to be in constant communication with each other. Jocelyn. All right. Thank you, Nicole.